me, I would like to show you how to make my delicious, healthy lentil soup. Here are the items we will need for today's soup recipe. A cup of lentils, these are red lentils. Our three basic savory items, a cup of onions, a cup of chopped carrots, and a cup of celery. For the spices, I like to use cumin. This can be in seed form or ground, about a teaspoon. Curry powder, I like to use about a tablespoon. And of course, if you prefer the taste of curry, you can add more or you can add less. Turmeric is a lovely addition to this soup and has a lot of healing qualities. Salt and pepper will be to taste. And then I like to throw in one or two bay leaves. And then the oil, we can choose avocado oil as an oil I like to use, or what I really prefer in my lentil soup is to use coconut oil. It gives it a nice, sweet, delicious taste, especially if you're gonna go vegan. You can use water if you prefer to go vegan, and if not, you can actually use chicken stock. It's about four to five cups of chicken stock or water. A nice way to get some added nutrition into this soup is to add some dark leafy greens. I like to put in spinach near the end, and sometimes I put in some collard greens or some kale, and it's a great way to get your greens in. First thing you wanna do is turn on the flame to medium. We're gonna add our oil first. I am going to add coconut oil, and I'm gonna add about a tablespoon. Don't get caught up in precise measurements. That makes everything more challenging. Just add about a tablespoon, letting that melt. Then you're gonna add in your one cup of chopped onions. and your one cup of chopped carrots. I like to give these a few minutes by themselves before I add the celery in. Takes a little longer to cook, especially the carrots. I like to give them a little head start before I add the celery. No need to stir unless you see something starting to brown a little early. Then you would stir to move it so it doesn't burn. The sizzling is a good indication that things are cooking. And when you stir, you actually coat the surface with the oil. Give a nice even cooking. Then after a few minutes, I'm going to add in my one cup of celery. Give that a little stir so that the celery gets coated with the oil as well. And you can notice the glistening of your vegetables to know that they're coated with all the oil. We're going to let these vegetables cook for about three or four minutes, you'll start to notice that the onions start to become a little opaque when they start to cook. They go from the white color to an opaque, see-through type color, and then you'll start to begin to see them brown. No need to stir unless you notice something getting dark around the edges. Kind of even everything out so that all the surface area of each vegetable is getting equal time on the heat. And even if it doesn't get cooked all the way through, don't worry. We're gonna be boiling this for about 45 minutes and it'll have ample time to cook all the way through and get nice and soft and absorb all the delicious flavors. I'm gonna add my spices. I used a teaspoon of cumin seeds that I took my mortar and pestle and ground. 
so that you could smell the delicious aroma from the cumin. If you don't have cumin seeds in a mortar and pestle, don't worry. Use a teaspoon of powdered cumin. I'm then going to add some turmeric, maybe about a tablespoon, which is about three teaspoons. Gives it a nice yellow color. And then turmeric has some anti-inflammatory properties. So this is nice for reducing inflammation in the body and in particular in the joints. If at any time cooking your soup, you felt that this looked too dry once you put your herbs in, you could add a little extra oil if you'd like. Another teaspoon of oil. And then you'll really start to smell the aromas here. I'm also gonna add in this soup curry, not adding too much. And of course, if you prefer to have no curry, leave the curry out. I am going to add about a tablespoon of curry powder. Maybe a little more. If you'd like to add your salt and pepper here, salt can help to sweat the vegetables and bring out some of the liquid from the vegetables. So adding about two or three pinches of salt here and then also some black pepper can always add on to taste at the end. And then you'll notice that you start to see a browning from your spices here. So once you start to notice that they start to brown, it's time to add in your water or chicken stock. You could turn the gas up to high here to get the chicken stock or the water to come to a nice boil. And also you would like to add at this point your bay leaves. I'm going to put in two whole bay leaves. You'll start to notice that around the perimeter, you'll see bubbles as it's getting ready to boil. And at this point, you can put in your lentils. So I'm gonna add at this point, a cup of red lentils. Then give that a little stir. At this point, I'll reduce the heat to bring this to a simmer. And now we will cover our soup for about 30 to 45 minutes. Now for the last 10 minutes of cooking, I would like to add my spinach. Putting all that in, it'll disappear. Spinach starts off pretty big and then it ends up wilting down to very, very little at the end. So I'm gonna put that in, put my lid back on, in about 10 minutes, we'll be ready to eat our delicious lentil soup. And now it's time to see what we have made. Here is the delicious red lentil soup with some spinach. It's time to serve it. I did a little taste to make sure that the lentils were cooked all the way through. And then you're going to ladle some of the soup in a bowl. And then taste it. I like to get a bite of spinach, carrots, and the lentils. Mmm, so delicious. And from here, if you'd like to add a little more salt or pepper, you can add that at the end. I'd love for you to try to make this healthy, delicious lentil soup and contact me to ask any questions or offer suggestions. Feel free to omit whatever you don't like or even try to add something a little different and then let me know how it goes. I hope you enjoy. Mm -hmm.